All right, hello all. Uh, welcome back, and I hope everyone had a good uh, holiday, or maybe you haven't finished your holidays yet, but uh, you had a, a great Christmas. And I thought I'd uh, take a look at the Deepin desktop in Arch Linux. So what I've done is uh, obviously installed Arch Linux and some my codecs and other things, and uh, I'm recording this from just the uh, basic uh, X, Xorg uh, desktop, okay, uh, TWM desktop. So uh, I have installed uh, Firefox. So we can take a look at the wiki. If I can spell Firefox right. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I did. Okay. So let's go to the Arch Linux uh, documentation here. And uh, I think it has its own section now. If I can connect, there it goes. Okay, so deep in, deep in desktop environment. It looks, it's apparently in the uh, uh, default Pac-Man repositories and there's um, extras here. Just a couple of things, uh, edit the light DM. So uh, let's take a look at the deep in group. I, I'm, it's quite extensive. So I imagine you just, uh, type in sudo pacman dash capital s into a terminal or just pack for an alias uh, deepen and get an idea so i guess install everything that says faces accounts faces i don't know if that includes avatars or not okay it looks uh, interesting so not too bad on uh, file size actually uh, but uh, with the extras i imagine that will grow so I'll pause this while it's uh, downloading and hopefully it'll install uh, fine for us. All right, so it, in finished installing, I was trying to uh, look at some of the packages. Uh, some of them look really interesting. I'm not sure if network managers is installed or uh, any kind of uh, pulse audio. I'm just gonna update the database, uh, Fox, uh network manager. Okay, um, not installed, that's fine. Light DM, uh, light DM, lib light DM, GTK, I mean QT5, light DM is installed. All right, so let's go back to this. Uh, you have to edit this file. Copy, and I paste that in. Okay, so I'm gonna use, uh, I installed leafpad, so sudo leafpad that file and go back to the documentation and down to seat defaults. Okay, so I imagine it's this one, so uncomment that. Uh, and the session is this, so probably easier if I can just copy and paste that. Control C and Control. Oh. Control V, yep. Save and quit that. And then the uh, sudo, let me put this into an icon. System CTL enable what? Light. Okay, and then uh, I guess we'll get the network manager and applets and stuff. So sudo pacman dash capital s uh, network manager no i might be wrong on all these so <laughs> network dash manager uh, dash applet and network what i like to use to keep uh, synced is the network manager dash dis dispatcher dash ntpd <sighs> what did i spell wrong network oh yeah right there we go after this i'll just uh attempt to to restart and see if uh the light dm and the network manager and everything is uh working properly and i should be able to continue this video all right, uh, so here we are with the uh, Deepin desktop. Uh, it's a 2015 uh, released candidate uh, for Arch Linux. It's actually Arch Deepin, and there's a 
git repo uh, and you can look at the source code and everything and uh, all that good stuff uh, so this is the uh, not the default wallpaper um, obviously but there's some uh, neat right click options right off the bat uh, personalization it'll bring up the control panel which is the or the control center control center and uh, you can have a custom or set it to deep in uh, it's just one window manager because I didn't install any um, the default icon theme and it comes with flatter and I also installed ultra flat so it, it's uh, pretty neat uh, in the way the control uh, center works uh, for example if I click um, let's see device here which is sound it'll bring up the sound properties which uh, didn't show up for some reason <laughs> and you have your date and your time and again you can adjust that to auto sync use a 24 hour clock in your time zone uh, which is working fine so uh, it's just handy to see that nice calendar and it, if you hover it can, brings you a nice transparent calendar which is very nice uh, this is the uh, obviously the launcher which is a full screen uh, application menu um, again, uh, there's some really uh, innovative type of things, or just something different, at least. Uh, if you right-click on any of these, you can uh, select Open, Send to Desktop, Remove from the Dock, Add to Startup if you wanted to. Um, unfortunately, Uninstall doesn't work, but that's uh, Arch. That's an Arch thing. Um, so I installed my usual stuff. I wish there was a way to edit this. Uh, some of these... Uh, I know there is a way. I wish there was a menu editor, a GUI menu editor. Uh, some stuff I don't need to, you know, have a high server. But it is cool because uh, you see here on the top left, you can sort by name, category, uh, by text, icon, um, category, text, sorry. Uh, sort by time installed and frequency, which I have it set to. So sort by name. You notice it changes to a letter, icon and goes into a category view which is very nice and text same basically the same thing but then now you can go to more categories here so it's really neat um, a, a neat uh, menu uh, time installed and frequency and you notice that if you hover to the top left it'll also bring up the application um, launcher now with that said sometimes yeah it's not working uh, the hover the hot corners don't seem to want to work <laughs> if you right click in um, corner navigation it says control center so I'll click that again it just won't bring it up I'm not sure why but that's fine now I made some notes uh, just some things to, to mention after installing it, I tried and tried and tried to get LightDM to work. I'm not sure why, it just didn't. And I had to boot from the USB, Arch boot USB, and CH root and remove the, disable the service. However, LXDM works fine if you uh, have problems with that. Another thing is make sure you install Pulse Audio. <laughs> uh, for me, when I had this menu, it would only show up on the top. I mean, the corner, the right corner area, say, from this area here. And that's all I could see. Once I installed Pulse Audio and Pulse Audio Dash Alsa, restarted, the uh, screen worked. There were some nice login sounds um, and different sounds when certain things would launch, which are pretty cool, actually. All right, so back to the notes. Uh, I already mentioned the hot corners, and I uh, wish there was a GUI menu editor. Uh, personalization is kind of interesting. You go to your uh, file manager, which is Nautilus, um, and Control L. Go to USR Share, and it's person personalization themes. Deepen, and it has its own dedicated folder and. Uh, uh, information file and wallpapers uh, reside in here and I did actually copy one 
uh, from another folder into here as root and it, so it does show up under your uh, wallpapers however I had to log out so I'm gonna go to home uh, personalization wallpaper it's right here the one I just had here's the default wallpaper if you're wondering so other than that uh, it's very uh, different <laughs> and very uh, uh, nice actually some really nice animations and seeming happening um, this uh, dock you can have efficient mode classic mode they're very similar in look as far as I could tell uh, classic mode will just have a bar across the reason I'm not changing uh, to that because I, I lose my icon trays and the icon tray is right here so if I right click on a certain item uh, NVIDIA NV dock and uh, I wish there was another way uh, again it's to do with the menus and stuff to add something to auto start now there is if it's detected as I said say add to auto add to startup but something like X bind keys there's no facility so you have to manually make a desktop file and throw it into uh, Arch Linux uh, config your uh, home configuration folder. Oops. Dot config uh, under auto start. And unfortunately, uh, I don't have an open with. Uh, probably you can probably get a script, but anyway, uh, <laughs> if I open the terminal here, um, leaf pad x. X bind keys desktop very simple I just the uh, icon tray there isn't one <laughs> so I didn't really have to worry but I just uh, pointed it to X bind keys application system and uh, it's working fine the reason I install X bind keys is to have something uh, I have a G19s keyboard and G1 will launch something like Firefox which looks you know very nice uh, with the whole theming in the system and there is a uh, grub theme. It's already uh, copied over to the, uh, let me see, LS uh, boot grub oh, uh, themes. And you see it's deepen. And you, know, you just uh, take this line, copy and paste with the text tacked on. So uh, sudo leap add uh, default Etsy, sorry, default grub configuration file and right here grub theme equals in the full path and update your grub configuration file and it works just fine and some of these warnings here uh, it's GTK stuff as usual <laughs> that aren't working also have a multi task view which you know desktop one two three add another one I'm um, sure that not sure what the I think it's control no the super key and left and right arrows to go between so it's a Windows key super key to go between workspaces which is really cool as well I did install Mate system monitor and I had to edit the desktop file so it would show up in the um, menu and you can see I am recording of course uh, a little heavy on the memory size I guess file systems well whatever take from it what you will uh, the main this is what it's installed on stb1 solid state drive and it's using about as you can see 3.6 gigabytes so it's on par with I guess GNOME uh, system basically and it wouldn't be as much uh, if I wasn't recording because you know 1920 by 1080 and the sound and everything and there we go I, I find this uh, tray kind of interesting. I wonder what happens if you have more than five. I don't know. Maybe it switches. And the power button, very simple. Shut down, restart, suspend, lock, log out. If you press control, delete, same thing. And you run. So as I said, each one has sometimes has different uh, functions. The deepen terminal is really neat. Um, and sometimes, I think this is Plank, sometimes when you click on it, 
Let's see. Minimize. It won't minimize for me. I don't know why. But this is a deep in terminal. Um, I like this uh, display hotkeys. <laughs> whole bunch of them. And there's some really neat things such as the control and wheel to make it uh, change the transparency level. So the control and mouse wheel to change that. Um, let me see the what else was there. Full screen and exit full screen. And let me see the shortcut. There's one that goes into a split split view. Um, vertically, horizontally. Oh, so control H. Have a split view. And to close whatever split view you have is control shift. I think. Close current window, close other window, window control shift. W control shift Q. So control shift Q. Yep. So that works uh, quite nicely actually. So I'll wrap this up. I think uh, it gives you enough, gives you a good idea if you'd want to install this. I hope, if or not. Uh, so it's deep in. As you see, uh, copyright uh, one, whatever deep in technology desktop edition 15 RC. Arch Linux rolling 64 bits. It's picking up all my uh, hard drives in total memory. Uh, an update, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if it actually works, but and there's a uh, change update server. I'm not sure, but I like the idea. It's it's there. Okay, so that's uh, deep in OS. Uh, very late in the year 2015, and that should wrap it up for this one. And thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.